Hey everybody and welcome back. It's Johnny with uh, JP's RC Workshop. Um, something I haven't mentioned in my videos before is I actually do a Hobbies for Veterans program. Uh, we take RCs such as this, uh, fix them up, uh, gather batteries, a charger, and we give them to disabled veterans who have an interest in RCs who do not have the ability to buy one. They have the ability to maintain one, but not to just go out and buy one uh, living on disability and trying to afford a hobby such as this. It's pretty, pretty difficult when you have to factor in, you know, your initial investment you know parts breakage here and there it's a lot more manageable now um, what we do is we get our seats such as this one and we give them to them free of charge we take them out go bashing I'm just installing a steering servo which is pretty straightforward we'll uh, I'll kind of uh let you guys watch as I go, but pretty sure every one of us has had to change a servo at one point or another. But as I was saying, uh, this one right here is going to be going to disabled vet. Um, look us up on Facebook to see what we're doing. Um, the vet, uh, the group is Hobbies for Veterans. Um, always looking for, you know, like if you have any parts that you aren't using and you're willing to ship them to us now they don't have to be great parts just ones that have life left in them um, actually don't give these guys new cars you know, try to give them ones that don't need anything at first but you know part of the reason uh, for this program is it gives uh, disabled vets who have seen things that have really, really stayed with them in, uh, when they were in combat and various other nasty things that they've been forced to see or do. Um, you know, come back and, you know, things just aren't the same. They can't get out of their head, can't quit seeing what they've been through in their mind's eye. Um, the purpose of these cars, these RCs, is to give them something to make them smile. It brings them back to the here and now. Something that's right there in front of them it'll bring them joy um, uh, there's a shop that you know if you guys are in the Massachusetts area um, look up TNT Hobby they've donated uh, some parts to get this going rear hubs front knuckles uh, and a radio the radio I did a test on my barrage just to make sure it works before I put it in here see how it works because this car is an unknown quantity it has not run since I picked it up I traded a mini monster uh, Baja for this thing uh, you know a little 118 scale Losi and you know it was a pretty cool little car but Realistically, it's not a very great basher. So, you know, none of the guys really would have been able to go out and keep up with the others because, you know, I bash two-wheel drive slashes. My wife bashes two-wheel drive slashes. Um, the other vets, we've given away two cars so far. Um, they have two-wheel drive slashes or rustlers. So, they... They're in a whole different class as that little Losi, and it just kept getting ran over whenever I tried to take it 
out and run with it so I wasn't even going to try to give that to a vet because I, I found it frustrating trying to run that little car with the bigger cars and you know that's not what I'm trying to get these guys into this hobby for is for the frustration factor um, give them something to tinker on something to enjoy um, I'm fairly patient so you know I figure if it's annoying me and I'm not dealing with you know like PTSD and other terrible things going on in my head if I'm getting frustrated I'm not going to I'm not going to subject a, a vet to that you know we're we all owe our freedom to these guys you know if it wasn't for veterans past and present there's a very good chance we'd be speaking a foreign language and living on reservations so you know really really thankful for what they do I uh, wish I would have had the opportunity to serve but one thing Uncle Sam cannot and will not waive is asthma which I happen to have so plugging channel one into the receiver channel two into the ESC and power up the radio plug in my adapter to Traxxas ESCs this right here I run Dean's in all of my vehicles but if you put a Dean's plug on a Traxxas uh, ESC it will void your warranty so this is my little cheat to uh, keep your warranty good and yes I know I need to put more heat shrink on that um, let's power this up okay servo just centered So, uh, what I'm doing now is with the servo powered up, just centering it. Oh, yeah. That's right. I need the adapter for the Traxxas servo saver installed on here. That servo is actually pretty strong. It's holding itself while I'm tightening this screw. So, let's see how we're doing. So, this car is almost ready to go. Um, one thing I can't afford to do right now is just go out and buy batteries and chargers for these guys. Um, there's a disabled uh, guy in Eugene, Springfield area. Named Steve. He's a great guy. Loves RCs. Really, really, uh. And he's really behind me on what I'm doing, along with, uh. TNT Hobbies. They've, don like I said, they've donated some parts to get this truck going. And we're almost there. Um. But. Unfortunately, it's not gonna find a home yet I need uh, need to find 
rebuild kit for the standard Traxxas shocks. There's, these things do not hold oil. You can see the oil all over them. They're just in bad need of being rebuilt. Front ones, they've been holding oil for two days, but they're, I can hear air in them again. Um, so if anybody has a shock rebuild kit laying around or any extra nickel metal hydride batteries and a charger with Traxxas plugs on them, you know, I'd appreciate them if uh, you would get a hold of me through Hobbies for Veterans on Facebook and, uh, you know, see if we can, see if we can get this car into a deserving disabled vet's hands. Um, like I said, the only thing this car needs now is a shock rebuild kit. Um, it does need an antenna nut and uh, needs batteries and charger. Um, yeah, thank you to uh, TNT Hobbies for the Fly Sky Radio for this car and for your support and what we do. Um, guys like that that own hobby shops and still are willing to help out a little guy in a good cause are just amazing so if you guys are in uh, Massachusetts uh, please look him up I'll uh, I'll post his name well I'll post the address of his hobby shop in uh, in the description so you guys can pop in and you know just tell him thank you, shake his hand or buy something from him. You know he's a great guy. Um, but that's it for uh, this video. You know, give us a like, 